And there, you have a homemade candle. Christine, you lied to me. So I've been recently re-watching Christine McConnell's Curious Creations on Netflix and I was watching the second episode where she shows how to make your own candles and I thought it actually looked pretty easy and like something I could try to do. I'm gonna try one of Christine McConnell's crafts and make my own DIY candle. So for this craft you're gonna need an empty roll of paper towel, aluminum foil, you need wax melts and I went to the dollar store and bought just a bunch of different ones. I got toasted marshmallow, I got pumpkin spice, vanilla, and apple cinnamon. You need candle wicks and little tools that you can use to carve your candle. So when I carve into this candle, I'll be able to create an interesting silhouette. Now my idea was to make two different types of candles. One is going to be like a gray in the inside, white gray with orange in the outside. And then the second candle is going to be kind of inspired by like the poison apple look. So the inside will be red and then the outside will be white. So we're going to see how this goes. I have never made a candle before, but this seemed like a really cool way to, to do it. So, and I've been watching her show and being inspired and I want to be crafty. So we're going to try being crafty tonight and see how it works out. A homemade candle. So the first step is taking this and the aluminum foil and using this to create a mold. So the very first step, taking a little bit of foil, Create a secure face. So now you'll end up with a base and you can very easily remove the mold. All right. Okay, now that I have this, I can just take out the mold. Now I gotta add the wick. Taking some sort of tine or needle, puncture a very small hole thread through the wick. Tie a tight little knot. Now you have a perfect candle mold with a wick that's going to be perfectly centered. So I'm making a little hole in the bottom here so I can insert my wick. This is me realizing that my idea was to do it like this. But then when it dries, how will I take out the aluminum foil? I think I'll still be able to. I mean, it makes that's the only way that to me it makes sense for it to stay up. So we're gonna try it like this and hope that it works, but since she's she just used like a string of wick, the one that I'm using does have a little bottom part to it, and I feel like it makes sense to put it here, and then when the time comes, just take out all the wrapping of aluminum foil, and hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> We'll see. If not, I can always keep trying, so. So now I'm gonna take the toasted marshmallow and use this as my first step for the candle. And now I gotta melt it on a little pot right there. So she did say once it's completely melted to wait about 10 minutes for it to kind of like get a little bit more solid. So we're gonna wait 10 minutes. Then I recommend letting it thicken for about 10 minutes. That way when you pour it into the mold, it'll set much faster. All right, it's starting to get a little bit more solid. So it's time to start pouring it in. Pour in only a little bit at first. All right, I'm nervous. So we're gonna see how this goes. And she said to just do a little bit at a time. It's already s getting like solid really fast. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this one work. I don't think this is working. I think it got a little too solid. <laughs> it already like solidified in here. So I'm gonna have to heat this back up again. <laughs> ay ay ay. Okay, trying this again now that it got back to liquid state. I don't know why we have to do a little bit at a time. I don't see why I can't just pour it all in, but to me it's like messier to do it like this. I'm gonna be bold and just try this for a second. 
and see what happens. I think I underestimated how much wax I need. Also, wax is pouring out. <laughs> okay, wax is starting to pour out. And this is how much wax I have inside. <laughs> it's literally only like up to here and it's all pouring out. So I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Oh, is it because I poked a hole? Oh my God. I gotta do this all over again. <laughs> Now this time the wick, I'm not gonna poke a hole. I'm just gonna stick it in and hope that that works instead. I realized I need a lot more wax than I expected. So I just put two packs of the red and one of the orange and we're just gonna make one candle. It's gonna be hopefully more red than orange but I figured it will look like a red orange color so hopefully that'll work out. And at the end I'll use the warm vanilla white color to hopefully get the poison apple look I want. But we're gonna try melting this wax again and see if this works out the second time. Okay, we're gonna try this again. And I'm using a different spoon this time to see if it's easier. I can still see it pouring out. I hope this works. <laughs> All of it's pouring out. <laughs> I didn't even poke a hole this time and I thought I put enough aluminum foil and it's all just pouring out. What is happening here? <laughs> Do I need to put more aluminum foil? Okay, we're gonna keep going and just see what happens. Okay, I am getting impatient. And either way, I don't think this is gonna work. I don't understand why it's all pouring out and what I did wrong, but this is frustrating. I literally went to Michael's to buy these little wicks just so I could do this. And it's just all pouring out. I don't understand. And she made it seem so so easy. You just put aluminum foil on the bottom and that's it. These may leak a little bit, but that's the fun that comes with doing things homemade. These may leak a little bit. What? I am gonna call this a fail. This did not work out. It literally is still pouring out and just running across the whole table. So in conclusion, just go buy a candle. I mean, it's worth saving all the trouble. <laughs> just go buy a candle, let the professionals take care of it. Unless you're gonna keep it simple and just pour it into a jar, then that works too. And just continue until you reach the top.